Uh, don't lick my don't lick my leg. I know I'm sweaty and salty. <sighs> Are you ready? My internet signed me out. Are you sweaty and salty? Uh, I don't think so. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you. Um, I approved all our merch. They're Ooh. sending me samples. Ooh. So we have new merch coming. You guys didn't hear it because we haven't officially started the podcast yet. This podcast right now. Oh, got it, got it, got it. You're like, wait, did we start another podcast you didn't tell me about? I've secretly just been recording you sleeping, and that's the whole podcast is to listen to you sleep. Honestly, a vibe. People do that. Isn't it illegal to sleep on like a TikTok live? I don't think so. Because it's like a perverty, perverty thing. Even if you're fully dressed? I don't know. Someone was like, yeah, you can't film yourself napping. What? I see that I all know. the time. It literally just popped up for me last night. It was some girl sleeping. And if you sent certain gifts, it would send off certain sounds to wake her up. Uh, she pops up every night on my TikTok. I never watch it. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of this fetish. You're also not talking very close to your microphone. Oh. Put that in your mouth, please. Oh. Uh, so why'd you do that? Sorry. Why? Also, you didn't move the microphone. You just you just held it and then talked into it in a really gross manner. In a really gross manner. You just like Are you there yet? Almost. Oh my god. I heard you swallow so much. Just oh now. my god. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's better. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Right? Yeah. Okay. I just had to belittle you into doing it correctly i love that that's really how Did you it just like you? keep employees i probably happy. shouldn't mess with you right now because your therapist canceled on you i know it was rude well i thought you're supposed to see her once a month we Did moved you? back to once every two weeks oh what was wrong <sighs> my anxiety just got bad again really i'm so sorry yeah. is it because i'm an, a, a not a nice person to you <laughs> I, there were so many other words i wanted to use no i'm developing i'm developing i'm developing well okay listen <laughs> evolution let's go i am developing uh attachment issues to your girlfriend to my girlfriend and i really don't want to <gasps> that's the worst yeah because not only is it like not good and healthy for me but it's like it's not fun for her no not at all and it sucks because like when you start you're like i got this stuff on lock you know you start dating someone you're totally fine and then the stronger your feelings get for them the more yes. crazy you get well the more i'm convinced she's gonna abandon me even though she's the most precious perfect reassuring human being in the entire planet i'm like this is it if she like blinks too quickly i'm like well that's it pack my bags now <laughs> and it's not good so i'm going back to therapy i never i don't have a fear people will leave me i have a fear they're just gonna hurt me because they don't want to leave me but they like even like in friendships mm. like like they don't actually like you but they mm. just stay yeah 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 i think I, that's yeah. it I've, I've always had that fear with every friendship with every relationship i'm like they don't actually like me and now as someone who can financially and mm -hmm. adventurously benefit other people's lives yeah it's even stronger I'm like do you like me or do you just like the life that i can provide right. as a friend or as a really that's my own issue yeah i had that same intrusive thought this weekend um because my girlfriend slept in the car on the drive home and i, I told you this i was like yeah i was like oh she's she's definitely gonna break up with me because i gave her dramamine so of course she fell asleep in the car so she didn't get sick and the whole time i'm like I was thinking to myself, and we, we had a long talk about it, but I was like, is she with me because she actually likes me? Or is she with me because it's convenient? Is she with me because I'm the first, like, woman she's dated? Like, you know, I had all these. Yeah, she flies back and forth. Every two weeks. Every two weeks. I don't think someone who doesn't like you would do that. That's what she's, she's like, Baby. Really? Like, what is the benefit of dating you, Emily? That's, <laughs> this kind I mean, she didn't say that, but she was like, what? what would be, like, my motive for staying with you if I didn't actually like you? And I was like, I don't know. I take you to do cool things. She's like, baby, I loved meeting Jojo Siwa, but that's not why I'm dating you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, I love you so much. There's not really like a benefit to dating you unless you like you. I agree. Because I, I don't have money. Unless someone likes you. Yeah. Uh, I don't have money. I have terrible anxiety. Uh, I Your mean, I, dog doesn't make things convenient. No. And she's mean. I love her, but she's not a nice dog. Blaze wouldn't know. Blaze wouldn't know. <laughs> no, they're not similar at all. <laughs> Yeah. So I guess there I don't need therapy anymore. <laughs> I solved it. Emily, your lifestyle kind of sucks, but you as a person worthy of dating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, are you ready to start? I suppose. OK, welcome to All Things Internet, a show where we talk about our feelings and things we see on the Internet that Emily tries her gosh darn it to fact check beforehand. I am one of your hosts, Rachel Ballinger. I'm Emily Brostaff. And the dog of the day, Blaze Defer. We have to switch it up at some point so that 
we can continue having dog of the day because if it's always blaze okay well next week we're gonna try and get my mom on because hey yeah. we hit a hundred thousand subscribers whoop, whoop. Hey, so uh next week we're gonna try and get my mom on um and that should be fun and so oh uh, you know what she loves my big boys yeah but they knock her over Oh, yeah. So we'll have the little one in as dog of the day. Okay. Yeah. Or if we do it at her house, because I just realized we could probably do it at her house. Poopy. And then Poopy could be dog of the day. I love Poopy so much. Yeah. We could go do that. We could go. Okay. We could go to hers. (gasps) We could have a chicken of the day. Oh. (laughs) We'll have a whole segment of we'll put on our external mics and just go play with the chickens. Oh, my God. Little little ski boots. What's his name? Slippers. Mittens. (laughs) Oh, my God. I would love to have him on. (laughs) Little gloves. (laughs) um yeah okay so we'll switch it up but uh emily how you doing (laughs) thriving i'm actually doing like pretty well i got all the work done yesterday i got all my work done. well that's because i had to do a lot of it (sighs) god imagine um (laughs) i got all my work done this morning i feel like i'm on track i feel like i'm doing okay i attempted to sleep seven hours last night woke up in like a cold sweat not sure what that's about felt like i was going through menopause at the ripe (gasps) age of 30 (laughs) So not sure what's going on there, but other than that, thriving. Good, 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 good. I've been waking up for no reason. No, yeah. Not because of bad dreams, not because I have to pee, yeah. but I'll just wake up and be like, now I'm awake, time to turn over, and then I go back to sleep. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I woke up this morning in quotes, and I thought it was like 5 a.m. I looked at my clock, it was like 2.30 in the morning. Like, Why? I don't know. Maybe like the planets are doing something weird. (gasps) The planets were all aligned last night, apparently. Oh, maybe that was it. But it's been happening for a few days. Oh. Maybe I was just like gearing up for the alignment. Yeah. Whatever that is supposed to be doing. The ultra alignment. Yeah. So now we'll sleep soundly. (laughs) (laughs) Now that that's over. Yeah. I don't know. All right, Em. What do you got for us today? All right. Um, biggest thing I want to talk about this week is the TikTok trial taking place. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What a pathetic excuse for politicians. The yeah. questions I saw them asking. Oh, yeah. Like, and that guy that the, what is, who is he? I don't know. What, the the guy, CEO of TikTok? Yeah, that yeah. one. The patience oh my God. that that man had to have to talk to people with no brain. Right. And they were just so insulting towards him the entire time. They yeah. were not only like, mis- like I don't want to say purposely mispronouncing his name, but they were not making an effort to learn no. it or like to learn from people correcting them. And like the ridiculous questions they were asking him, they were constantly cutting him off, interrupting him. Not asking a question, but not letting him answer. Oh, yeah. Th- did you see that? Like there's a whole compilation on TikTok where he like he's literally asking to answer the questions. The 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 you know representative will end their sentence and be like well i guess that's it and they'll move on and he'll be like um actually can i and they're like nope and they just like move on to the next question like they're being so incredibly rude they don't want an answer they don't want a solution they want to distract us so that they can ban trans people from existing and ban books and ban drag yeah and not solve our gun issues right well, and yeah, we'll we'll get into more on like the theories of why I think this is happening and why a lot of people think this is happening. But just to rewind a little bit, we've touched on this a few times in case you've missed our previous episodes, which how dare you? Um, <sighs> Insulting. Yes. Uh, the U.S. government is trying to decide whether or not to ban access to TikTok on American soil. Stupid. S- so in, the, in other episodes, we've kind of said that Uh, The U.S. is worried, like, I mean, this is all in big major air quotes. This is why they say they're doing this. They they say that the U.S. is worried that ByteDance, which is a China-based company that runs and controls TikTok, is potentially harmful to U.S. democracy and youth. So our government is concerned that because TikTok is controlled by a company operating out of communist China, that they have the potential to influence our politics and elections through the app. And we have seen this before. Um, During the Trump-Hillary election, uh, we did see that Russia was interfering and they were posting these just flat out lies on Facebook to very influential people. Yes, on Facebook. Right. <laughs> Not TikTok, on Facebook. Right. And, and they're okay with Facebook existing. Oh, right. Exactly. There's no threat. To, uh, Facebook's fine. Because as far as I know, Facebook has run out of the US, so it can't possibly be infiltrated. Impossible. Right. So it's, it's it, why, why, okay, continue. Yeah. Does it make sense to focus on TikTok when this happens to 
this isn't happening on TikTok. Not to my knowledge, no. Um, and then they also say that the app is corrupting our youth by showing them and promoting them harmful things on the app. So, <laughs> I saw, yeah, go. I saw one senator, representative, who are the crap? But this is, I don't know. They're all, everyone in part of this is uneducated and stupid in my book. Um, but was saying like, I, every time I open my TikTok, it's just little girls dancing provo- provocatively. And everyone yeah. was like, you know that the for you page is an algorithm based on what you like to view. You just outed yourself, dude. Oh yeah. There's there's whole compilations I've been watching over the past few days of multiple congressmen coming forward and being like, every single time I, I scroll on my TikTok, it's just video after video after video of of like they don't say slutty, but they're like of little girls dressed in provocative clothing and thrusting towards the camera and like this is disgusting and corrupting our youth and blah blah blah. And it's like, yeah, they have no idea they are outright outing themselves they are so uneducated and so unaware of how technology and social media work and how algorithms work right because your algorithm will only show you things that you watch all the way through that they know you're interested in because the whole point of the algorithm is to keep you on the app as long as possible yes because the longer you're on the app the more ads they can give you the more money that they can make correct so they're the algorithm i mean Every once in a while, there's a fluke. But these guys standing up there and saying every single video, like that means you're watching them. That means you're a pedophile. Yeah, that means you're sharing them. That means you're downloading them. That means you're re-watching them. Mm-hmm. That means like, you're visiting the profile based on watching the video. Yes, exactly. So you're outing yourself as a perf because I've been on TikTok since the pandemic started. So three years, right? Com- Same. Coming on three years. And maybe in those three years, I've gotten a maximum of three like riskly dressed teenage girls and I just I scroll right past it and I don't you don't see it again. and then I don't see it again it's happened once or twice where I'm like this is like a teenage boy thrusting, thrusting. and I'm like ah! and I throw my phone and TikTok said okay 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 we won't ever show you that again I apologize I apologize right here's some gay women and dogs like I don't and I'm even... like thank you and they're like here you can also build a house and I'm like thank you thank you don't do that to me again like Charlie, even Charlie D'Amelio, who doesn't like, she's not a very like provocative dancer. I answer. follow her and she never pops up for me. No, she popped up once when I first downloaded TikTok. And she, she, I think she just got beat out. I think we talked about that a few months ago, but she's the second most followed person on TikTok. And her whole thing is that she's this teen girl dancing. She's popped up once. Yeah. In my three years. Yeah. And because I scrolled right past it, I've never seen her again. Yes. So like you are a perv. Yes. And they are just outing themselves. And I, yeah, I've seen so many TikToks of like people being like, the Gen Z PR teams for these senators. Oh my God. <laughs> trying to like get them to shut up about what's on their For You page. Yeah. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. The whole thing is embarrassing. Yeah. It's like, ugh, okay, continue. Yeah. Okay. So um, with the trial official, I, I don't, and this may, may make me sound like uneducated. I don't know if you call it a trial or like a hearing or like, I'm not sure what you refer to it as, but this yeah. whole crap show um is has been underway since last week and this whole session is about deciding whether the bill s686 also known as the restrict bill or the tiktok ban bill will pass and be put into law um so bill s686 says that hardware technology like modems routers home cameras virtual tech like vpns anything that is made in a foreign adversary adversary country will now be banned and some of these countries include china hong kong cuba iran korea venezuela and russia so basically if you buy any of this any of the technology that i just listed which is everyone home this is how your home cameras? functions yeah home cameras literally how you get your internet your like every your router you can't buy a router from china no and if you look at any of your technology it's all built outside of the states because we stopped building things here right because china does it faster and cheaper yes we've outsourced all of our factories yes to other places so that we don't not we but like terrible money hungry people don't have to pay people a living wage or benefits right so now If this law passes, if you own and use any of this technology that comes from any of those countries I listed, including China, which is where all of our technology comes from, you will now be breaking the law. So it's like they're. Are they that dumb that they don't realize that even in their homes, they're using these where where is our Apple phone? Where are Apple phones made? I want to say China. Oh, I want to say. Wait, where where are they manufacturing? 
Is it like sometimes we get the chips from our computers from China? Yeah, I mean, the pieces are made all over the world, but I want to say like the majority of it. Like, and, and like, yeah, if your technology comes, like if the different pieces come from different parts, is there like a certain percentage you're going to have to meet? I'm sorry, because this is mainly Republican, but there are Democrats on this as well. Yeah, it's right, right? bipartisan. How on earth? Are Republicans who are like, don't tread on me. Yeah. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Stay out of my home. Stay out of my life. How are they okay with the government telling them what social media is they cannot use and that it's illegal if they use a certain phone or a certain router or a certain camera? Yeah. Like, how are they okay with this? This all goes against everything Republicans say they stand for. Right. Well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff they say they stand <laughs> for and they don't actually believe in. But like, I've like, I'm like, what is important to you guys? Like, what is it? And they're like, guns. family, guns, and my privacy. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is going against your privacy. This is going yeah. against your right to, um, this is so, they're like scared of communism, right? Yeah. This is the most communist thing I think we've done. Telling people what technology they can own and, and censoring like, it. Yes, yeah, censoring and saying it's illegal. And yeah. it's, they're censoring a social media. They're yes. Out, we have never, ever outlawed a social media. But I don't, China has. I don't think I don't think we have. I know that Trump one got restricted because it was it was creating too many white nationalists and like too well, much listen, uh, terrorism. That but was, like, yeah, but that was terrorism. That was terrorism. <laughs> this is TikTok. This is this is the thrusting. potential to do something, but it hasn't. Yeah. I, I mean, we, we talked about this a little last night. I there there are two theories that we both agree on, I think. Yes. One is that these lawmakers are so incompetent and genuinely do not understand what law is being passed and they just see it as a tiktok ban yeah they that, have like, no idea what actually is inside they didn't read it no they don't like there's a i mean there's there's some people that do but the majority like i don't know that's a um, a vivacious statement to make i want to say a bunch of lawmakers don't actually read through the bills yeah. before they decide on them they're basically their vote is bought yes so either they're being bought out they're stupid. They don't understand what's going on. Or the big thing, and like this is a big theory that's going around right now, so it's not just like my kooky conspiracy theory, is that they are more scared of information being spread quickly than their own privacy. That outweighs their own privacy. Because they don't, they want to be able to censor our news and our media. Yes. And TikTok allows information stories and news to travel way too fast and the government can't get to it in time yeah because i mean as much as they say like we have free press the government a thousand percent controls our news outlets they yes. censor things they decide where funding goes so like news stations don't want to piss them off like you know there's all these factors that go into how the government controls our media and like the information that we receive and since tiktok was developed and it's so quick yeah and like they consider it a threat like you were just mentioning last night black lives matter yeah, I was like, that makes sense because when Black Lives Matter happened, that was when TikTok started blowing up mm -hmm. and things were getting out immediately. Yes. It was like, hey, we just showed up at this protest. Yes. These bricks were already laid here. Do not touch them. Right. And it went out. And it's like, hey, I just got to this protest, saw these these cops putting out this stuff and like, don't touch it. And people wouldn't touch it. And like, because right. it got out so quick and people would mm -hmm. immediately like share, like mm -hmm. comment. And like, it just got out within an hour. It would have a million views in an hour. Yeah, people are able through tiktok to come together so quickly and i don't know what the word is like rebel so quickly yeah and even if it's not about rebelling like if it has nothing to do with like protests or political movements like even like i know i know this is going to sound a little left field but like even like the alien stuff that's coming out that's stuff that they would not want the public to see like even if it's not like an alien alien from space and it's yeah. like just a flying object from like another country and we haven't identified it yet the government in the past however long they've existed would have never let us known about that yeah because they don't want us to panic and and like they don't want mass hysteria they want to control it they want to keep it under wraps they want to appear that they're smarter and ahead of everyone else and so now people are recording these like images and videos of these unidentified flying objects and posting it on tiktok and it's reaching millions of people before yeah. the news outlets can even report on it or the government can decide whether they want the public to know or not yeah so it's like it's crap like that like I swear, if these lawmakers do understand what's in this bill and what this bill means, they are more afraid of the general public being knowledgeable and up to date than they are about losing their technology. Plus, they know they're untouchable. Like, yeah. what person is going to go into a senator's home and be like, oh, here's your router. It's from China. We got to take this. No one's going to touch them. So it doesn't affect them. Yeah. Also, like, how are they going 
to manage that? Are they going door to door? It's going to. Okay. So we'll. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into that because uh, I watched a bunch of videos on this last night and then read about it It, because this bill is even more nuts than even what we're talking about right now. And like, I feel like this is why we need to talk about it, too, because it's this big running joke on TikTok right now of like, oh, TikTok's going to get banned. Like, but it's deeper than that. I feel like they're using it to do more. Oh, absolutely. The fact that they're literally saying that you can't have certain technology in your home because if you do, not only are you breaking the law, but now they can monitor you legally if this bill passes. So um, if you to hop back into it. um, So if you're using a VPN to bypass banned apps, uh, this will now be considered if this bill passes a criminal act under this law. Uh, So I've used a VPN like when I was in Canada and wanted to watch my American Hulu. Yeah. I used a VPN yeah. to lie about the location of my laptop. I use So a- I could watch my own Hulu. Right. And right. and now if you if this bill passes and you were to do that, there's a penalty, the minimum imprisonment of twenty years and a minimum fine of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or one million dollars, depending if you know- knowingly did so to access banned content. So I use a VPN all the time because there are certain shows that are available in England that aren't available in the U.S. Yeah. That I want to watch on Netflix. So I use this program, which I'm not going to mention because they haven't sponsored us yet. Yeah. So you don't get a shout out till you sponsor us. What? Also, this is all allegedly if this gets. Oh, yeah. This is by the federal government in a year. (laughs) This is. We allegedly (laughs) have used a VPN. Get your facts and figures right. Well, because for right now, they are legal, (laughs) you know. So, no, not allegedly. We've (laughs) done it. But if this bill passes, allegedly, what's a VPN? I've no, I honestly I don't, don't think I would know how to do that right now, for real. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there's this this certain program that you can download on your computer that is literally a VPN where you can decide where you want your location to be so you can access different things. Yeah. And if I were to do this, if this bill passes, 20 years in prison and a quarter million dollar fine. Like you don't this, have that amount of time in your life left or that amount of money take my seven dollars and fifty cents that is sitting in my bank account fine is this just another way to lock up like minorities um i don't think so i think this is more of a scare tactic got it um and a control tactic of the general public um communism um okay so this bill also gives the federal federal government the power to monitor any activity used by these suspected devices. So essentially, if you have a camera in your home that was manufactured in one of those countries that I listed and the bill passes, the government will now have every right to access your device and monitor what you're doing on it 24-7 without telling you. So basically, they can watch your home cameras. They can see exactly. How are Republicans not up in arms about this? Because no one's going to do it to Listen, them. Listen, hack my furbo. I <laughs> don't care. And my ring camera points at my front door. So like, fine. But they'll now be able to read your emails, your DMs, your internet history. I mean, I have nothing to hide, but like, that's not okay. Yeah, like, no. if I found out the government done this, I'd be like, I, that's illegal somehow. Like, that's a, that's a violation of my right. Right. But I would be like, okay, you wouldn't have found anything. Like, woo Right. This is against everything Republicans are supposed to stand for. So I can't yeah. believe that this is the one, this is what they're trying to put forth. I know. That's what I'm saying. It all falls back on either they're more scared of the media or they just understand that no one's actually going to touch them. Like Republicans, I'm on, I'm, I'm like trying to support you, but you're in this endeavor in this right now. one thing. In this, but you're not <laughs> understanding that this is going against what you normally believe and you're in support of it. I'm very right. confused. Yeah. Like I'm like, hey, buddy. I'm with you. They shouldn't be able to monitor our home cameras. Well, and it's like, just to go back on your point of like, I'm not doing anything wrong. So therefore like, ha ha, but also like, you know, you're not supporting yeah. it. Like, I agree. I'm not doing anything wrong on the internet either. I, besides like, if I did have like an FBI agent, he would just see me Googling how to spell restaurant over and over and over again. Oh my God, you know? indefinitely. And de- <laughs> um, but it, it, my fear is if something were to happen, like a politician were to come into office and another genocide type of event were and to we're take gay. place and we're gay and they can see through our internet history our dms our posts anything like that or like if something else becomes illegal like if they're willing to ban basically the internet like what does that stop them from banning something else where they could go back in our history or go back and watch our move our, our yeah. cameras and be like well this person is a perfect target and then like round us up like that's my biggest fear 
Like, okay. I don't want them. Yeah, having... I don't think that they should be able to do this. Right. Yeah. But even, but I've seen this argument so many times. If you're not doing anything wrong, then what's there to hide? Like, yeah, I don't like it, but what's, it's like the they future. They could ban something else and then, yeah. And then come back and look at your history and be like, oh, this person fits into that category. Yeah. Now we need to monitor them or arrest them. Yeah. Like, that's what scares me. Okay. You know? Valid. Yeah. Um. So basically this bill can effectively ban anything that the government. You and all the Republicans have bunkers. <laughs> Oh, my God, I wish. Do you know how expensive a bunker is? I know. I, I just love that you have that, like, fear mentality that, like, in, like, The Last of Us, how, uh, what is his name, Fred, what was, what was, oh, you wouldn't watch it? No. Frank? Yeah. Had built, like, a bunker and stuff, but he was very, cor- like, it's very much, like, Republican, you know, the stereotypical, they have all these guns and are, you oh know, my God. you know, don't want any of the government taking them or yeah. looking at them. And it's just, like, them and then you. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, no. And I've always said if there's some type of like genocide or apocalypse, bye. You can you can take me right. I away. am like, hopping no. on Danny's boat and oh. sailing off to sea. You would be so sick every single day. I don't care. I would be alive and that's not true. in a concentration camp. That's true. I know. That's what. Yeah, that's for another. I was going to. OK, I was going to ADHD. Right. Yeah. Um, Before we move on, let's check to see if we have a sponsor for today. Sponsor, sponsor. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Getting to know your true self and why you function the way you do is a lifelong process, especially because we're constantly changing and hopefully growing as human beings. And therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding so you can understand how you function, so you can function better in life. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. They can give you the tools and the insight into how people work. I've been doing therapy for years now and I love figuring out what causes me to react a certain way so that I can manage those reactions. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash all things internet today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash all things internet. All right, continue about this bill. Okay, so this bill can effectively ban anything that the government deems inappropriate extremely quickly without warning and without vote from U.S. citizens. So this would great taking away their vote. Yep. Um, So this would break up mass communication methods and the government would be able to legally spy on you and future technologies that they could possibly include in this bill are endless. Um, And we don't get a say as the people or warning. And according to one of my favorite TikTok news reporters, his at is at say hey, James. Um, Say hey, James. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, He says that buried in the fine print of this bill, it states that if this bill passes, the president of the U.S. will be able to. And I, I. I um re- I looked at the bill myself and this is in there. Okay. Um so he says that if this bill passes, the president of the US will be able to appoint a secretary of communications and that the secretary will be allowed to form their own group of like their own cabinet basically without voter input and this group will be able to legally That is li- they're literally taking away our democracy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, and that this group will be able to legally have secret meetings behind closed doors, not have to disclose anything to the public, and they will be allowed to ban and deem anything inappropriate or a risk to security at any moment in time. Communism. Yes. And if they do, that means that they have the potential to go through your Instagram messages, your emails, your texts, anything that uses the internet, and they can view it and censor it without warning. That's why this bill is dangerous. It's not about TikTok. No, it's, it's about not what about it, TikTok. It's about the implications. Yes. They're, try- they're, they're using TikTok as a disguise so mm-hmm. they can do whatever they want. Right. Um, so my little, um, my little input is um, if you want to try and keep this bill from passing, you can call state lawmakers and tell them that if they continue to move forward with this, you will not vote for them in the primaries. And can I put in the description like the link that they can click on? Yeah, of course. OK, we'll put in the description a link that you can click on where you can basically figure out who your representative is. And uh, you can there's going to be several different ways. You can either email them, set up a meeting, give them a phone call, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, and there's like a uh, a script you can follow the one that I wrote because I sent out a few emails last night the one that I wrote was you know hi state your name I'm a voter in your district and I want you to know if you choose to vote to ban TikTok because you know it's more than just TikTok 
Um, I will spend the next primary actively campaigning for your opponent opponent and will vote against you in your primary. So if if you click on the link, you can also go to Google and type in like TikTok ban representative script and they'll give you lots of different options of things you can say. Um, I asked Emily last night, does that actually do anything or do they just send it all the trash or junk mail or just like whatever? And you said it does do something. Oh, yeah, it, it really does count. A lot of people have that mindset of like, why would I call? Why would I text? Why would I write in? Because it's just going to go right into the trash. But what each of your representatives does is they have a group, like a mass group of people that answer these phone calls. Because when you call the number or write a message, it's not going to be the representative that reads it. Yeah. It's going to be like their crew. Um, and they'll open your letter. They'll take your call. They'll read your text message. And they note it all down in this massive, like to, to make it relatable, like Excel spreadsheet. And they take it back to the representative. And say this many people are against it. Yeah. So if you want to get reelected. Yes. So because uh, I realized I was like, oh, yeah, it's like if I p- was like, hey, if I did this, would I get canceled? And it was crickets. I'd be like, cool, I can do it. But if everyone was like, I will cancel you for that. Right. And I'd be like, oh, OK, I can't do it. Exactly. Because they- they're going to be more concerned about getting reelected to their seat than like making the wrong vote, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if enough people write in, call, email, you know, whatever your representative, like their form of communication they accept, if enough people do that, they can take that information back to your representative and be like, hey, you're going to lose this many voters. Yeah. And they can see it's going to make a difference and they're going to be like, oh, crap. And they're yeah. going to vote how you want them to. OK. So it really, yeah, it really does make a difference. Like we don't get a vote on what they do in TikTok, but they they want our vote when it's time to get reelected. Exactly. That's what they care about most. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Because that gives them the most power and the most money. Yes. So that's ultimately what they care about. Um, so yeah. And then um, there are, so that's like the serious part of it. Uh, but also the like funny side of it is how many Gen Zers are roasting the questions that the representatives. God, they roast it. Does it have to be, why does TikTok have to be connected to the Wi-Fi? Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, like, what do you, yeah one of, i can't with blaze right now being such a ham he really is um yeah some of the questions that um the representatives have been grilling the tiktok ceo with were so if i have a tiktok app on my phone and my phone is on my home wi-fi network does tiktok access that network are you kidding me <laughs> like they are don't you- are they that dumb yeah we have elected the most uneducated uneducated dumb people that they don't know how a phone works they don't know how an app works right and it's just like it's because a lot of these representatives can stay in office for far too long yeah and so they can't keep up with the technology (laughs) yeah because they don't need to no so well and that's that's as far as we've gotten so far but strongly have we gotten anywhere no haven't gotten anywhere (laughs) i don't think we've gotten anywhere all we've done is proven how dumb our politicians are yeah so I encourage everyone to click the link that we'll provide to write in, call in, do whatever. You can read right off the script. It does not matter. They just need it recorded that someone from their voter district called in and said these words. So it's not like you have to have a conversation. They literally will say, you know, hello, representative blah, blah, blah's office. And you say, hi, my name. And you just read the script and then they'll say, OK, thank you. And then that's it. Like it is the most basic phone call. They're not going to try and convince you of anything. They're not going to try and sell you anything like. But don't be mean. No, 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 no. Yeah. Just read the script and be done. Yeah. Um, so encourage everyone to do that because like Rachel pointed out earlier, this whole thing has been made into a joke and a spectacle when really it it's, is like. Yeah, it's a facade to pass some stuff that they uh, like to, to, to become communism. It's so bad. And no one realizes it because it's just so comical. Oh, we could be on the same side about this. For once. For once. <laughs> like, listen, this about our rights as people. To, for the government to get out, get away from our stuff. Right. It's exactly. like the government to not interfere with our lives. Like, let's let's join up. Let's do it. Come on. Let's have a powwow. Let's share peanut butter and jelly sandwich together. Right. And tell our representatives, hey, get out my business. It's so bad. I'm with you on this. We're with I, you. I won't even bring up vaccines. <laughs> or guns. Or, well, or well, abortion well, or anything. Well, I'll well, just well. be like, that government, am I right? Yeah. Can you believe that Joe Byron? Did you go Brandon? And was no. that their stupid nope. thing? No, I'm not going to say that. But when you say it, I'll go. <laughs> <sighs> don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Please don't take our TikToks away. Just let's keep it on TikTok. 
what's on your for you page no i don't want to see that no <laughs> god all right what else we got he's being he's being a ham yeah he's mushed you a ham sandwich today bubba he said i need to ask for attention please okay he's gonna get it he's gonna get it um all right so we have been avoiding this topic like the plague uh and we touched on why a few episodes ago but Haley bieber and selena oh, gomez oh. It's Why? T- well, because one of them finally came forward. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. Um, so we've been purposely not talking about this uh, just because it's been too messy. It's all a bunch of she said, she said, but never actually either of them said anything. saying anything. It's Yeah. It's just been a lot of people online trying to stir the pot and cause drama. And like, I feel like the Internet's just been getting their jimmies off pinning two women against each other. Yeah. But that's my opinion. Two attractive women. They're like, ha ha. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Um, For what? I don't know. So I said we wouldn't talk about it until either Selena or Haley came forward themselves, and it's finally happened. Yes. So on Friday, Selena posted an Instagram story in which she asked her followers to stop attacking Haley, saying that she doesn't stand for this kind of hate and bullying. And she wrote, Haley Bieber reached out to me and let me know that she's been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. This isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience... My bad. <laughs> You looked at me like you messed up. No. I was like, what? I was trying to see if I could swallow it. We can edit this. Uh, No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want all of this to stop. And then a few hours after Selena posted that, Haley posted on her story and said, I want to thank Selena for speaking out. As her and I have been discussing the last few weeks on how to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. The last few weeks have been very hard for everyone involved and millions of people are seeing so much hate around this, which is extremely harmful. While social media is an incredible way to connect and build community, moments like this only create extreme division instead of bringing people together. So it seems as though, according to them, they have talked about this. They have squashed it and Selena is calling for the hate to stop and Haley says, yeah, what she said. So there you go. (laughs) There's your update. (laughs) Yeah, I'm not going to add any more because that's just that's where it should end. That's just where it is. Um, all right. We have to talk about the latest drama. Blaze had something to say. Yes. Uh, surrounding Michaela Naguera. Um, remember, we talked about her a few weeks back. She's the beauty TikTok influencer that got in trouble for falsely promoting <laughs> mascara. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So she forgot to properly flag her videos and ad and then she put on fake lashes to make yeah. it seem like the mascara was better. Um, well, she never apologized or addressed the situation. She kind of just made a joke about the whole thing and then just kept posting like normal. Um, and so it sort of died down. I want to, I want to say people kind of moved on as they they do do with the internet. Um, well, over the weekend she found herself back in the hot seat. Oh, okay. I can't defend you again, girl. (laughs) Um, Learn from your mistakes. This one we maybe can. We'll see. I'll tell you. Tread lightly. Yeah. Um, So basically a few days ago, people on TikTok found an old video of her from back in her college days where she was interviewing with someone and there was one glaringly obvious, weird, out of place, unexplainable feature that stood out to everyone watching this video. Um, She was speaking with absolutely zero accent. So if you... Oh, does she have an accent? Oh, boy, does she. <laughs> so if you don't follow Michaela, she has one of the most recognizable, super heavy, what I can only describe as a Boston accent that I have ever heard in my entire life. Like, is I don't even have to be watching my TikTok. As soon as she says the first syllable, I'm like, oh, that's Michaela. Like, okay. it is so recognizable. Okay. Um, so when this video resurfaced from a few years back and she's speaking with zero, I mean, zero accent. It's not like she's not... To me, it doesn't sound like she's trying to cover it up. Like, she's just speaking. Um, the internet decided to cancel her all over no. again. Oh, Yeah. For, uh, for not having an accent. For not having an accent? Yeah. So. Okay. So, um, hold on. Real quick. She yeah. is clearly, because of her last debacle, has, or these people just, people just start to hate people for no reason. Yes. I met a woman who hated um, Mr. Rogers. Because she didn't like his vibe. And she's what? like, he, he was a pedophile. I was like, were there accusations? She goes, no, you can just tell. And I was like, whoa, you can't just hate someone because of the vibe. Like, you could not like them. But she was like, you can't outwardly tell me that he's a pedophile. Right. And there's this just happens. Like, people just decide that they hate someone and then want to ruin their lives. Especially and when they, they get canceled for one thing. Yeah. So when they got canceled, when she got canceled, that thing, that group, there's like a group. They define mm-hmm. each other. They'll comment and be like, I don't want it, but this video bugs me like same and then they become friends right yeah. and then they just decide to hate people mm-hmm. together 
and then they'll just take something and run with it being like she's a fake how yeah. dare she fake an accent or not an accent well they're going like once you get canceled for one thing people are just searching for the next thing yes, to cancel you they're gonna search in the deepest corners because of the they internet enjoy, they hate you for no reason yeah or for their own disgusting reasons like not because of actually you it's because of their own issues yeah and then they just want to take you down and they get joy from that so yeah. they're gonna try and come up with every video every post every caption you've ever done and spin it in any way that they possibly can right exactly and that's i think what's happening with her oh for but sure but i'm intrigued yeah i'm well, intrigued as to what's with the accent no you're kind of hitting the nail on the head so the the video already has 11 million views and according to buzzfeed news it was seen by some fans as an example of her being untrustworthy no again what how is that that how is that that right because well also uh, how old is she now i want to say in her young 20s okay so this was a few years ago yeah, because this was when she was in college. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so one person wrote under this video and said, Michaela's lies part infinity. Another person said, I knew she was a fake. Um, so, so they think she's faking her accent now? Yeah, to become more like notorious. Like like to have a little... Edge. Edge, yeah. To make herself more recognizable that she's like taking this accent and just like faking the whole thing so that she has like a... a I don't know, like... What's the word? A difference. Yeah. A spark. A, yeah. yeah. A standout feature. Yeah. But then there are a bunch of bu uh, on BuzzFeed. They also reported that others have had sympathy for the influencer relating to her having to tone down her accent in professional settings. So a uh, TikToker named Rachel Lee said, we need to start seeing these influencers as entertainers, almost actresses and actors, because at this point with their millions of followers, this has become their job. So... Michaela did grow up in rural Massachusetts and she has addressed her accent in the past, especially on TikTok, because she gets a lot of hate for like how like a lot of people think her accent is like disgusting or off putting or like just too much. People are so annoying. Oh, right. So are you kidding me? I can't handle humans. Mm -hmm. So in a TikTok live stream at the start of March, Michaela said that she has been mocked for her voice her entire life. She said, it's not an effing Boston accent. I've already said that. It's an effing redneck accent from where I'm from. So, like, she claimed in this live stream that the reason she doesn't have an accent in that video is because when she, because she majored in communications in college. She learned to talk without an accent. Yeah, because she said she wanted to seem more professional because people were not taking her seriously with her. So this should be a, a sad story in her favor but really they're trying to make it a negative thing against her and call her a fake because she was tired of being bullied for her accent so she decided to talk without one for a while and then said screw that and now has her accent back and decides to be like her normal authentic self y'all need to get a life yeah God, i can't with y'all get a life this yeah. one is dumb yep um i'm sorry i'm not sorry i'm <laughs> sorry for her yeah i was more with you on the eyelash thing than this oh right exactly yeah this this is just ridiculous and just an example of how people will always try and when they're mad at you find something that they don't like you for just get i just i have nothing to say this is just pathetic yeah that's all it is it's pathetic well and i really liked what that tiktoker rachel lee said where she said we need to start seeing these influencers as entertainers because I feel like when influencers, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like when influencers first came on the scene, it was all about them being authentic, like yeah. them showing their lives. It was basically home videos yes. that they were putting online. So you got to know these people authentically. But the more that the internet and influencing in general has developed, the more people expect entertainment. Yes. So you can't like, we've talked about this so many times, like people don't see you and youtube as a job no like if you are to ever comment about like on how tired you are how, how much work you have like your comments just get flooded with people being like stop complaining about your job it's so easy and so fun and you're so lucky when like really but that's my job is to make it seem like that exactly that's yes. part of my job and when your job is to like pick up the camera and constantly entertain people and constantly be on and like you know all this and that like it's exhausting yeah and there's it like there's times where I, I don't want to do that but it's my job to do it and I, I love my job so much, but yeah, it is a job. Right. And I can't just not do anything all day because I have to entertain. Right. I know there are some days where, yeah, where we're like, well, what are we doing today? And you're like, oh, I'm so, or like you feel sick. And we're like, okay, but we have to do something. Yeah. I have like, to go for, have an exciting day. For the entertainment. Yes. Yeah. And like, and, and, and again, like it's very privileged. Yes. That part of your job is like, we get to go to a farm for your job and like yeah, film it. it and have fun. It's amazing. 
but day after day after day after day it is it is a job like if this wasn't my job and I had a different job I wouldn't be doing these things right so I just I really like that was the first time I think I've had it like I've read it where someone is taking what we've been saying and put it perfectly about like we need to start seeing influences as entertainers, almost actresses and actors, because at this point with their millions of followers, this has become their job. It's no longer about just slapping something online and like being authentic. It's now about how are you going to keep people entertained and keep people coming you'll, back? You'll, if you watch a small creator get big, you'll see the switch they realize they have to make when they're like, oh, this is this isn't just a hobby. I have to do it full time. You'll see. Yeah. And like it's a job now. And if you're not on the money doesn't come in. Correct. And now you don't have a job. So to be successful, like you have to make that switch because, you know, your hobby's a hobby. You'll put it aside and do it when you have time. But when it's a career, you have to constantly doing it. Sometimes you don't want to. Yeah. And that's just because sometimes you don't want to do your job. I don't know anyone that wakes up besides me because I I love my job. I don't know anyone else in the world that wakes up every single day and is like, I can't wait to go to work. And that's just normal. Yeah. But that doesn't mean someone doesn't love their job or isn't thankful for their job. That's every job. Yeah. yeah. So I know that was a little side ADHD rant, but I just thought that was nice. Yeah. Um, we have to switch the battery in the camera. Okay. Be right back. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Okay. We're back. Hi. That was beautiful. Blaze is smushing his nose against his paw. It's cute. <laughs> it's so perfect. He's a cute boy. All right. Give me some more. Whatever you got. Let's go. All right. Do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Say action. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> so if you remember Grimes and Elon Musk have two children together. Oh, I thought they only had one. Oh, yeah. So they have a boy named X Ash A12, spelled like X A E A dash 12. Um, and then they have a girl named Exa Dark Psy Dear E L. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I really tried. So when, when her daughter was first born, Grimes explained that her daughter's name um, in an interview with Vanity Fair refers to the computing, p- computing term exaflops dark, which means the unknown. Literally, I nothing you have said has registered in my brain. Is this like that? I'm now thinking about basketball. Is this one of those things where it's like, you, have you seen those TikToks that are like, what English sounds to people who don't speak English? Yes, a thousand percent. I, I love those videos. Oh, me too. My brain like can't. Sometimes it gives me anxiety, so I don't watch yes. too many. But anyway, I've only seen like one twice. Great, loved it. Um, so. She basically said that they named her Exa Dark because it has something to do with computers. I don't even know. Um, and she said that, how do you say it? Psy Diriel means the true time of the universe, star time, deep space time, not our relative Earth time. So just three days ago, Grimes attempted to announce that her daughter's name has changed uh, by tweeting out, she's Y now or Y. So why is in the letter Y or why is in the question like W-H-Y or just question mark. But the government won't recognize that. Curiosity, the eternal question and such. So for the life of me, I cannot figure out if this is a joke or not. But knowing Grimes, I don't think it's a joke. I think she's genuinely trying to change her daughter's name to either the letter Y, Y as in W-H-Y or the question mark. And she hasn't uh, followed up since. I'm so confused. Yeah. W-H-Y, if they named their daughter Y, I'd be like, okay, at least I know that one. I think I'd prefer just the letter Y. It's kind of... Or W-Y. W-Y. We. W-Y-E. Y. We. We. What do we do? We. We. So... That's fun. Okay. Um, Neato. Mm-hmm. Um, there are rumors that Megan Fox and MGK um, are not going to get back together. So <sighs> we Not can our all... place to know, but gosh darn it, I want to. Yeah, we can all mourn about that. Um, so we've been seeing over the past few months uh, that they've been coming out of couples therapy together. She removed her engagement ring, and then she randomly deactivated her Instagram. And everyone's kind of been dying to know what's happening. Uh, So a source told People Magazine that the couple are in therapy, but having a hard time trusting, like Megan's having a hard time trusting MGK, even though she said he didn't cheat. So that's a little weird. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. And then they said that this is the source said that this is really boiling down to not working. There have been points where they haven't been speaking. It's been bad that they're still working on their issues. Who is the source? I know. That's what I always say. Like they just say the source. Like could it just be like a gardener? Like their yeah. gardener? Like let's hearing through the window or like I don't know. But that's that's the the rumor mill as of now is that they're not getting back together. Okay. Um, all right. And that's it for like our internet celebrity news. Do you want some good news? Yeah, sure. All right. So Wayside Waifs Hospital and Shelter of Kansas City, they hit max capacity in their cat rescue room. So mm-hmm. all of their cages were filled with cats they couldn't so accept anymore. Sad. I know. So one of their feline care technicians knew that she wanted to use social media to help get the cats adopted. So she filled on TikTok, she filled a bucket with pieces of paper with prompts written on them and asked each of their employees and volunteers of the shelter to help. So she went around to each worker, held out the bucket on camera. They would pick up a piece of folded paper. They'd open the piece of paper and it would have a prompt on it. And then they would show off the cat that met the prompt. Got it. So some of the papers, like some of the prompts said, which cat here loves cuddles the most. And then the worker would, you know, walk through the shelter and, and open the cage of the cat that loves the cuddles the most. It was really cute. It was like this orange cat. And as soon as he opened the cage, the cat like ran to the front and like jumped into his arms. And so it was like a really cute, wholesome video. Um, And they did this trend over and over and over again with different prompts until each of their cats was shown off. And this video went viral because it's wholesome and adorable. Um, And they got over a million views and over 250,000, 2,500 shares. And because of how popular this video was, they got all but two of their cats from the video adopted out. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Good yeah, social everybody, media. Go get a kitty. They're not that much work. <sighs> they are what? expensive. To feed? Oh, my God. The vet bills? Oh, we never took our, aunt, our cats to the vet. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. <laughs> None of them are living anymore. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. The... Uh, The Houston Zoo celebrated a win recently when one of its very own residents became a father for the first time at the ripe age of 90 years old. Um, Mr. Is it a tortoise? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Named Mr. Pickles. (laughs) Mr. Pickles getting her done. Um, He's a radiated tortoise and the oldest animal at the Houston Zoo and his 53-year-old partner, Mrs. Pickles, welcomed three hatchlings. Oh, so it's their last name. They're yeah, the Pickles. Mr. Pickles and Mrs. Pickles. Like Tommy Pickles from Rugrats? Maybe. <gasps> Is their child named Tommy? Um, they're, so they, they welcome. Or is it Cucumber? You're pretty close. <laughs> uh, so they welcome three hatchlings that could live up to 150 years if well taken care of. And according to the Houston Zoo, radiated tortoises are critically endangered and rarely produce offspring. And they said the new hatchlings came as a surprise when a herptology keeper happened upon Mrs. Pickles as she was laying her eggs at closing time. The animal care team quickly went to work uncovering the eggs and getting them to the safety of the reptile and amphibian house because the soil in Houston isn't hospitable to the Madagascar native tortoises. And it's unlikely the eggs would have hatched oh, on hey, their own. Stop having animals in areas where they shouldn't naturally be. Okay, cool. Bye. OK, and this is something that, like I want to talk about more eventually. I don't know where or when, but. I'm so torn about zoos, like proper zoos, because on one hand, they are like repopulating certain endangered species and keeping the animals healthy and like the species alive. But don't you don't need polar bears in a San Diego Zoo. San Diego Zoo. No, you don't. That made me really sad when I saw them. Like that shouldn't be a thing. Your zoo shouldn't be concrete. Like yeah. if you're going, yeah, okay, I understand like um, there are some zoos like the Santa Barbara Zoo rescues uh, and rehabilitates. Okay. So like cute. Yeah. But I also know that they've had their elephants, not their elephants, their uh, giraffes re- reproduce mm-hmm. and I- giraffes are not endangered, are they? I don't think so. What was the point? Now yeah. this animal has been birthed into captivity and will never be able to survive in the wild and you've just birthed an animal a perfectly healthy animal just for entertainment our, our entertainment and i'm not for that but like if you're rescuing like we had they had rescued bald eagles with broken wings and stuff oh and i was like sweet yeah cute yeah but these monkeys are fine but why are they here why are the monkeys here <laughs> why is the monkey holding an iphone 13 like <laughs> this is not a thing so like when they rescue and rehabilitate 
I'm like all for it, or they're like produce or like they're reproducing endangered species, all for it. But the San Diego Zoo does not need polar bears. And, you know, like if you're just having elephants to have elephants and they're not an endangered species list, then like why? Yeah, I could agree with that. And like, yeah, that's where I'm like, and I am torn because I want to I want to support so that they keep doing the good. But then I'm also like, you, but cut out the bad. Yeah, it's like a, it's a really gray area for me. So how do we feel about Mr. Pickles and Mrs. Pickles? Well, because he's an endangered species. Mm-hmm. So I'm for it. But like. Let's have them reproduce in the environment in which they were supposed to be. Yeah. I don't know what that means because, like, I'm assuming Madagascar is, like, dry and hot. So maybe the... Well, you I don't would, know you what think the temperature in, of Madagascar is. <sighs> Me neither. But you would think, like, Houston Zoo would be dry and hot. I don't know. But they basically said if the zookeeper or the herpetology person hadn't been walking by just as she was laying the eggs, they wouldn't have lasted until the morning because I guess the soil wasn't correct for them. Yeah. So like, are these animals not reproducing because we're not giving them the right ability to? Yeah. Or like if they're there to reproduce, why would you not? Exactly. Yeah. That's a solid point. Well... But I like Mr. Pickles and Mrs. Pickles. Yeah, good for them. Um, and the baby turtles' names? Yes, please give them to me because they're babies. Dill Pickles, Gherkin Pickles, and Jalapeno Pickles. <laughs> I'm into it. Yeah. I can't be mad about that. No. They didn't do anything wrong. They no. named them right. But L- Little Dill Pickle didn't yes. do anything wrong. Um, yeah, but like the LA Zoo, San Diego Zoo, they need to go. What's at the LA Zoo that really threw me off? The lions just being on a concrete slab. Where are the lions? Oh, yes. And the bear. The bear made me cry the last time I saw yeah, it. Yeah. Like, stop it with zoos, but when they're helping animals, all for it. Yeah. Yeah. The bear was like in this tiny enclosure, like the size of this office with yeah. like, it was concrete, a tiny little like man made river, and like one toy. And he looked so bored. Yeah. Cause he are. He is. Yeah. He's supposed to be roaming a forest. Yeah. Anyway, there's our good news for the day. <laughs> Sorry, I took the good news real bad real quick. All good. I mean, it's important to talk about. Yeah. And again, like I'm torn. I'm like, I want to, like when I visit, I visited the Santa Barbara Zoo semi-recently and I was like, they do a lot of good, but there's a few animals. I'm like, you don't need to have them here. I wonder if they have those animals to bring in the money so that they can keep doing good. And that good. is a, like, it's a torn, it's like a very gray area. Yeah give and take kind of thing but no, there are some zoos out there that i'm like uh-uh, shut it down oh yeah no shut it down yeah because they're like no one's gonna come to a zoo to see like uh an injured bald eagle but they will come to see the giraffes and then that money can go to- towards the bald eagle but yeah. it's like something has to suffer in order for something to be which sucks a lot yeah all right all right well on that happy note i think that's the end for today thank you everyone for listening and uh following and subscribing and watching uh but we're trying really hard to have my mom on the next episode yeah so get ready for some chicken and squirrel facts. Woo woo. Uh, and the week's national holiday. What did she used to do? She used to do the holidays too, right? Oh, she used to do the holidays of that week. Yes. Yeah. Or that day. Um, well, the next next one episode is on my birthday. So <gasps> So that is our national holiday. That is the national holiday of all holidays, everybody. Oh Congratulations. God. Me. Yes. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Um Have a good week. I hope you enjoyed this. Emily, you have anything else to say? Uh, Love you. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of All Things Internet. Please make sure to like and follow our podcast on whichever platform you're currently listening to it on. And make sure to follow us at Podcast ATI on Twitter, where you can ask questions and get the latest updates on our show. We love you. Thanks for listening. I'm Rachel Ballinger. And this has been All Things Internet.